In this video, we're going to discuss large assembly drawings inside of Inventor. Here I have the Vimec 630 IDW from our working files directory. And what I want to do is place in a couple of views of that large assembly. Now, since that large assembly had about 2,000 total occurrences of its components, it might take a little bit longer to load than, let's say, something with 25 total occurrences. Because when you work with inventor assembly drawings or part drawings, it actually loads the component in memory in the background. So if I'm going to load this in here as a view and compute that, it's going to have to compute that multiple times for the different views I place, such as a top view, a right side view, an isometric view, whatever view I'd like to place. I'll begin by choosing my base view command by right clicking and choosing base view for my marking menu. I already have the Vimec 630 IAM open in memory. It's actually the other tab I have open right now. If this is not selected, just go out to your working files and find the Vimec 630 IAM. Notice you can choose different representations, such as level of detail, view representations, and positional representations. For now, though, I'm just going to choose what I have here as a default. And notice my cursor is spinning. It's trying to compute that view and get it onto the paper effectively. So I can see right now that's a front view of this device. Maybe I'd like to go to a right side view. And again, notice it's going to be taking time to compute that. I'm going to place this right here by selecting. A lot of components are being loaded right now for it to recognize it. Now when I place the second view here, I can also place to the right or the left for another one. Now, I'm not going to do that just for time and performance reasons, but what I want to bring your attention to is the green brackets that are around my view right now. These green brackets are raster views. Essentially, what they allow me to do is work very quickly with a drawing rather than waiting five or ten minutes for all the lines to populate themselves and to fill out. Now, it does this by utilizing different views on different cores of your processor. So here I have one view being processed on core one, another view being processed on core two, another view being processed on core three, so on and so forth. So when I have these raster brackets around here, it makes my view creation process more efficient. Now I just want those two views, I'm going to right click and choose create. It is computing those views and processing them for the front and the top. You can see the green brackets are still on my top view. That means it hasn't finished loading yet. Once the green brackets go away, I can then save my design or I can start working on it and move forward. If you have the green brackets around your views, you are actually unable to save the file until it's done computing that view. Now there are settings that control that in our application settings. So if I go to my application options for Inventor and I look at the drawing tab, at the very bottom is an option called enable background updates. That is for the rastering to take place. If you turn that off, the rasterings will not happen and all of your views will be processed on a single core. Now there's also other settings here to be aware of as well. You notice that when I was placing my view, it took a long time to generate. If I go here to my view preview display, I can change that instead of being all components to be partial so it goes a little bit faster. I would not recommend choosing bounding box unless you're absolutely certain of the orientation you were placing, because you don't really get any idea of what the front, top, or right is if you just have a bounding box. So I recommend partial, though. That'll make your work a little bit more efficient. I'll go ahead and apply that and close it. Now, go ahead and delete these views by selecting them, right-click and delete, and I'll get rid of my child view there as well. I'll go back to my base view placement again, and now when I go to place this on the screen, let me do my right side view. Things are working a little bit faster. You can see it as a partial view of those components, not the full calculation. The actual time for it to place will still be the same, but my preview time is much faster. So I'll place the top view, then right click and choose create. Now we also have settings in here that will temporarily break the link to the assembly for updates. And we can do that with a rastering of the view. If we right click on our view three on the left hand side, we can actually choose to make it a raster view. And you can see what that does. It keeps my green brackets up there permanently. 
Now, again, I can't really save until I'm out of this rastering environment, but it does make my work inside the drawing a little bit faster if you're dealing with enormous assemblies inside of this view. To get this back to a normal view, simply right-click on it and make view precise. And that will recalculate it without a rastering of the view. As a reminder, when it reloads it, it might just take a bit of time for that to process. Now, some other settings to be aware of when it deals with assembly performance inside of drawings is actually a document setting. If I go up to my tools and document settings here, this is something I normally set inside of my drawing templates. But here on the shaded views, if you set your bitmap to use offline only, that actually increases the performance on your shaded views as well. So I recommend you check that to make sure that you are using offline only for your bitmap. I'll go ahead and close out of that. Now there is other ways to make your assembly drawing performance more efficient. We could use design views and we can also use level of detail to aid in that process. But for right now, we're just worried about understanding the rastering effect, making the views precise versus raster, and working with some of these settings to make our inventor experience more enjoyable.